Welcome back. Take one Scottish craft brewer, brewer and an American giant of the drinks world, and what have you got? Well, Brewdog and Budweiser hope the answer is expansion in China. The joint venture will see Brewdog's beer made in Budweiser China's brewery in Fujian province by the end of next month. The UK brewer also plans to open more Brewdog bars across the country. Well, Brewdog's CEO is James Watt. I asked him why China and why now? So China is a, is a huge beer market. It's in fact the biggest beer market globally and we've got global aspirations as a business. We've been in the Chinese market since 2015, but with a small partner and the deal that we've done with Budweiser is going to help us scale our business in China and help get our beer into as many people's hands as possible. And has the COVID pandemic delayed your plans for this expansion in China? I think the COVID pandemic has delayed uh, a lot of plans in a, in a lot of different places, but um, hopefully that is, that is behind us and what we're excited about is moving forward. So at the moment, we've got one retail location in China. We've got a bar in Shanghai. We want to open 10 more bars over the next five years and also get as much of our beer into distribution as possible. China is the world's biggest beer market. How can you compete with the many other brands, foreign and domestic, that have a strong foothold in the market already? That's a great question. So China, the world's biggest beer market, at the moment it just makes up 1% of our sales globally, so quite small for us, but we want to scale there. And we want to scale there the same way that we have in every other country we've had success. So taking our passion for fantastic beer, putting the taste flavour, the artisan craftsmanship back into people's beer glasses and focusing on community and sustainability as we look to develop our business and share the passion we've got with as many people as we can in China. James, tell us about how this partnership with Budweiser came about. How's the deal going to work? Budweiser, of course, seen as a giant in the beer industry, perhaps a slightly different image to the craft beer um, industry that you represent. Yeah, so independence is very, very important to us as a business. And one strategy that's enabled us to retain our independence yet expand internationally is working with big beer companies in select geographies. So we've got a joint venture with Asahi in Japan. We work with Sfinkles in areas across Europe. So we're happy to work with big beer in terms of distribution, and that enables us to scale our business. The China partnership has been a long time in the making. We actually had advanced discussions with a whole host of partners and it's taken maybe three or four years to get it all in place so we're delighted we've got it in place now and yeah just keen to get going and see if we can sell some beer in China. Absolutely and a recent study by Taobao Timor found that craft beer consumption in China shot up by 50 percent over the past couple of years. What do you think is driving that change and how can Brewdog set itself apart? So it's something that we're seeing not just in China but globally so more and more people are going towards beer styles like pale ale, like IPA, like stout, like porter. And I think people are just wanting an alternative to the more mainstream laggers that are in the market. So we're seeing that in the US, in the UK, we're seeing that as China. And we want to kind of be a catalyst for change in, in beer. So hopefully by our presence in China, by the joint venture, we can get more and more people drinking hand crafted, super high quality, hoppy beers like our flagship beer, Punk IPA or Hazy Jane. So you're not new to Asia. You mentioned that deal with Asahi in Japan, which was signed in 2021. I understand that doubled your sales in that country. Also plans for South Korea. Uh, beyond expanding in your home market of the UK, how can that help you move on from the pandemic and the effects of Brexit and inflation? But well, Brexit and inflation has been very tough, and the UK is a very tough place to do to do business at the moment. And I think the kind of challenges with inflation, energy prices, almost makes it more difficult to do business in the UK just now than the challenges we faced during COVID. And as we look to scale our business, a lot of the kind of scale and future growth has to come from international. So we've got a well-established business now in the US, in Australia, in Germany in France and Italy. The joint venture in Japan is going really well and we're keen to build on the success of these international expansions by trying to tackle the world's biggest beer market, which is China. And back in 2020, Brewdog planned to list in London but postponed uh, the planned IPO because of COVID that you mentioned before, affected hospitality revenues and broiled markets you know, across the world, of course. Are you still planning to have an IPO at some point? Yes, that is very much part of the thinking. So. 
the markets have been hit by the kind of shock wave of COVID, and then in the UK, the cost of living and inflation environment. So it makes it very difficult for high growth companies to IPO at the moment. But it's very much part of our plans, very much part of our thinking, and something that we're moving towards, and something we'd love to do when the timing's right for the business and for the markets.